Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm so excited for, to be here. I'm so excited. Um, thank you so much guys for always leaving me such kind comments. Um, really make my day. I'm so excited that you guys are loving this content. I'm excited to make this content for you. So let's get right into today's video today I'm going to be you know paying homage to Mother's Day which is coming up May 8th happy mothers to all the mothers happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there and I really wanted to just do this kind of this explosion of flowers and different pinks and purples and just have this whole little flower power thing going on um you know for mother's day it's you know a known tradition to buy your mother flowers and just it's spring so the floral floral patterns are out and about during this time of year so i just really wanted to have a little bit of flowers for everyone so like small ones big ones all the different sizes so in today's video i'm going to be using some molds i created a couple custom colors don't ask me because i was just mixing up stuff as you can see right here putting a little bit of this putting a little bit of that so yeah ended up making a couple of different shades of pink and peachy colors and then i also did some purple as well and so that's what we're going to do today so Let's hit this intro and get right into it. Hey girl, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you've been a part of the Oh So Pretty Squad, I'm so glad that you're back. If you want to join the squad, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button and you are in. On this channel, I'm going to take you behind the scenes of my handmade accessories business as well as give you helpful tips and helpful information for running a small handmade or product-based business. So don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Let's create something oh so pretty. All right, so as I said, mixing some colors. This color came out really pretty. It's actually some pearl and some of the like peachy pink that I made. I ended up mixing those two together to really create um, another version of this pink. So in this collection, I really do have some variation of pinks and peachy colors. And like I said, some purple. So I'm going to be using this poppy mold poppy flower mold to create these earrings i end up doing poppies i do roses i think this flower is called daisies as well i'm not sure um if it's called daisies or not because i don't really know my flowers but anyhow and i think some a little a few hibiscus like just a couple but um, I just do a bunch of different flowers from my different molds that I have and I make them in different shades of pink, peach, white, and purple. So right here I am just going through and yeah, making some flowers. Making some flowers. I really love uh, making these flowers. They're pretty easy to do. I got this mold off of Amazon. I'll link it. Or did I get it off of Etsy? I think I might have got it off of Etsy actually, but I'll link it in the description if you're looking to find it. Because it really did take me a long time to find that poppy mold. And I also, I actually want to get a smaller one. So if anyone knows where I can get a slightly smaller one, this one is about an inch and a half, I believe. Let me know. But anyways, let's get into making these earrings. So let's go.
all right so this is what we have so far i decided to use that little colorful cane right there just some scraps to do one flower um i really wanted to have a bunch of different flowers so yeah this is kind of what i ended up with so i'm kind of showing you what all i've made so far and then i'm going to really break it down for you in a few minutes of like what my thought process was as i was making these and also show you a little bit more up close these are before they're baked so these are getting ready to go into the oven and i ended up i think doing about three different trays of all of the flowers and all of the components actually four trays because i ended up doing some of the lace ones that you'll see here in a few moments so yeah Okay, so after all of the earrings were baked, I went in with some polyurethane. I did some gloss on some of them. I actually accidentally did some satin on some of them and I just kind of realized, I was like, oh, because I had my two cans out and I grabbed another can and it was satin. So yes, a few of them have satin, not that many, but, and some are just matte. So some of them are matte and satin. So you'll see that in a few minutes. I'm going to show you up close. All right. So let's talk about what I've done. This whole little, I'm trying to mess it up. This whole little collection that we got going on. I don't know why I just did that. Cause I had these things kind of in order, but nevertheless, um, Okay, at first, when I started making this collection, especially because I was adding this color in here and doing stuff like this, which are pretty, but when I look at it all together, they just look out of place. I only did a couple, just a, just a little couple ones that are just like really poppy in color. This one is so pretty. Let's see if it can focus. Oh gosh, here we go. Focus. There we go. Nails are trash, guys. Excuse that. Um, yeah, so I did a polyurethane on them. So some of them have a matte, more of a matte look. Um, and I'll show you the difference. Um, actually, with these two, some of them they're gonna have more of a matte look. Let me see if I can get this thing focused. There we go. Some are going to have a matte look. A matte. This is matte. So if you can see. That's a matte look. And then this one has more of a gloss. Let me get up here so you can. That one has more of a glossy look. Y'all can barely see, not glo not super glossy, but just have like a little semi-gloss. And this one is matte. Show y'all that. Let's see if I can. Uh, yeah, barely. Just trying to see if y'all can see. So I did that. Um, I really wanted this flower collection to have some other color options besides pink even though I, it's very unnatural for me to make like roses and stuff like different colors because I'm like is that even realistic I mean it doesn't matter I don't know what but I did add some purple in here I did add a couple purple ones for my purple fans not a lot but a couple 
I'm going to add a few more um, to the website. I'm, I'm going to make a few more and add those to the website. But right now, I only have like a couple. But I um, also did these big purple ones, which are really pretty. Oh, now that's a good focus right there. So now I can really see the shine. Ooh. Toss it out of my hand. But yeah, that's a great you know, angle right here. Um, and so then I went and I did some of these lace pieces, which I did with um, a. Let me show y'all what. Oopsie. Let's see. What? Um, where is my. Oh. oh, here it is. All right. So I used this Sculpey texture mat. Um, right here and then I went and I did this whole little, this whole little situation that y'all saw probably earlier me doing but um, I'm gonna use those and I'm gonna add those add some of them some of them they'll, they'll go by themselves or whatever but some of these will go with these pieces right here so that's what I'm going to go ahead and decide what's going to go with what. So then I can go ahead and do my backs. Um, because it's a very sunny day. So I want to go ahead and get those out. Um, to start to uh, set up. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to organize what's going where. So I can know what's going to need backs. And then sometimes it changes a little bit. But that's what I'm going to focus on right now. So yes. I don't know why I'm doing this because I'm really just messing this up. But doesn't this look so pretty? I should take a picture like this. I need to take this picture because it's just gorgeous. So yeah, I'm excited about it. So I'm excited to show you guys the finished product. Alright, so I decided to do a lot of the poppies on hoops. So all different colors, they're all on hoops. I think this is a great way to really highlight the flowers because they almost look like they're just suspended when you wear them. Like the type of hoop that I put them on, it's like very thin. You can barely see them when you're wearing them a lot of times. So it just almost looked like you just have like poppies like suspended off your ears or whatever so it's a really cool look I love how they really turned out so I'll have a bunch of those on the website I'm hoping to get them on the website tomorrow if not Friday but make sure you are on the hype the oh so pretty I was about to say hype squad a you know show no make sure you're on the also oh pretty tech squad so you can get an alert as soon as they hit the website i actually give you guys first dibs if you're on the tech squad so make sure you join that it's absolutely free to join all you have to do is click my website in the description or just go to my website you can scroll down and join the tech squad so last week i said i was going to do a giveaway so I want to go ahead and do that as well. 
So basically, I put everybody on the list who said I love them and um, kind of why they love them on in from the comments. And Jessica Ortega, you are the winner. So message me on Instagram for, and I'll get your information to get those sent out to you. Peace out.